Hello everyone and happy to be back with another action. This time we're going with Sigrid, Sucker Punch. Now, I didn't actually know she had a new album come out next week, so I'm going in with the debut album, Sucker Punch. <laughs> album cover looks very cute. I love the colouring, that little orangey, ready, sunsetty vibe. She's got all this stuff popping off. I actually think I have her Don't Kill My Vibe. If it's this song where it's like, oh, 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 don't kill my vibe. If it is that song, my friend Casey, she did a cover of it and I absolutely love that song. So if that's the kind of calibre of what this album is, about, I think I'm going to enjoy it. Other than that song, if it is that song, I don't know who this chickadee is. You guys are said I need to go on tour. As always, I do what you say. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, perfection. Uncut will be on Patreon. Links down below. Hit like and subscribe if you want to see more of me. I'm on Instagram at Griffin. I'm just keen to get into this music video. Obviously. All right, the opening track is the title track. It's called Sucker Punch. Let's go. Oh. Got it right, man. Wow. Like, how long was that? Three minute song. It felt so much longer just with the different elements within it. Love the production. Love the things she does with her voice. Love how it's stripped. I just love that song. What an opening song to an album. Definitely gets you in the mood. I can't even put my finger on it. It's class as pop, which obviously it is, but it just sounds so different to anything I've heard. Very cool. I love her voice, though. Maybe it isn't that good. Do, don't kill my vibe. Maybe it is, because it's quite... I, I don't know. It probably is. It just sounds so different to what this song is, and maybe we're going to get quite an eclectic little root on this album. I'm keen. Let's keep going. <laughs> the Red Bull is kicking. The next song is called Mine Right Now. Let's go. About the way you in a fit. That's when yeah. it hit true. We're down at the heart. What is her little boy? Hey! Oh. Hey! 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 Coming of age soundtrack already, the two songs. Production is so good. It's like her and the production, her voice are just at one together. Stunningly done. It just really, this album cover with her, just a bloody white tee, jeans, all this like, yeah, little indie kind of like scribbles like a, you know, like a little movie would have. I love this so far, but two songs in it is absolutely a banger. It's just so fresh, so nice. Lyrics are there, voice is there, production is there, perfection. Next song is called Basic. Let's go. What's happening here? So many elements. Oh, what is that coming in? Feel you next to me when I know you couldn't be nowhere in different cities. Oh. And I know I'm already exposed. Oh. I hope I'm not the only fool. I don't want to run away from you. Oh my god, this is so cute. Let's be Can I be basic with you? Can I be basic with you? 
I love her. Give me an acoustic album. Can I be busy with you? Because you make me so complicated. Yeah. I'm sure. Can I be busy with you? Obviously, she's on every song. Whoever this is produced by, so good. It's just per like, it's just like butter, a knife through butter. <laughs> so smooth, crisp, perfection, the elements within each song, a cute little long distance relationship, and I just love that can I be basic with you. You know, you just want simple stuff in life, happiness, love, easy, non-toxic stuff. Can I be basic with you? I love the message behind that. All right, the next one's called Strangers, so maybe it didn't work out in basic. Let's go. And then like, you just strip back, and then like, oh, she is good. <laughs> so good. Give me that chorus, lady. Love that, like it's not like the movies, it's so nice. Back. Wrap it out. Again, it explodes and you want to rock out, but you also just want to stay still and listen and absorb it and just appreciate it all. Stunning again, every song, the production, her voice, the manipulation, the coming together, the stripping back, the smashing in. I love that, like, not that good, not like that. Din, 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 din. So nice. I love the message behind that. It's not the movies. We're, fall we're falling head over here. It's just something that ain't real. I love that. That's sick. Absolutely one of the best on the album so far. <sighs> the next song's called Don't Feel Like Crying. Are we going to keep rocking out? Let's go. Short one, two minutes to thirty. I can't even speak. I don't know if I'm just really, I guess, <laughs> basically saying how good it is, but it's just so good. It's just easy pop, perfect pop, interesting pop, production, voice. It's the same stuff that I'm saying, but I'm gonna keep saying it because it's just so easy to listen to and vibe, and just it's just so nice. I think just nice. It's nice, easy, beautiful. Love it, love it, in it. Yeah, let's go. Number six is here. I'm Herbert Number. This is gonna give us the best song we've ever heard. Let's find out. Called Level Up. 
Level up, level up, level up. Let's go, up, level up. Let's go. Ooh, bit of a little slower. Because I'm heading out. Okay. And I'm hanging in the night. It's actually like quite lyrically sad about like breakups. Nothing you say is gonna push me away. So don't oh. rush it out. That you get stronger together. I actually love her. Oh. <laughs> oh, so so uh, but now it's like, I just can't get over how different it all goes. Oh, that is. Vinyl playing on the radio or something. See, you could not predict what she's gonna do. <laughs> oh my god, stop. Absolutely one of the best songs. I love that. So cute, Remy Teary. Yeah. Love the message, love the meaning, love the lyrics, love the vibe of it. It's just stunning how diverse all these songs go. If she isn't the Don't Kill My Vibe, I'm, I mean, I'm kind of really thinking that she is now with just how diverse it all is. I'm so excited for that song if it is that song. I really hope it is. Love it. Stunning. I, I, I'm just actually shook at how good this is. And it's like flying by. I feel like I know it and she's so familiar to me, but it's not, if that makes any, she just feels like everything she's saying is so relatable. So anyway, I can keep saying the same stuff. I'm just pleasantly surprised. I'm really vibing. I hope you're vibing. The next song is called Side of You. Let's go. I'm just like excited for what the production is going to sound like as well. Said it all during the song, said it all before the song. Insert every other thing that I've said in this song. Happy, nice, easy, yeah, pretty. I love the meaning behind it. I love that it's all kind of like lovey now. After all, that's a breakup album. It's kind of, yeah, just really hopeful now, which I really like. The next song is called In Vain. Let's go. I don't know, seems crazy how we got this far. Oh, don't break up now. the don't kill my vibe girl this is it <laughs> What 
a bloody masterpiece. The strain, I was in my head thinking how simplistic it was, just with her voice and the subtle guitar. Then that, like, and then bringing it all together. Perfection. Stunning lyrics, stunning content, so relatable. Been there, done that, sis, bought the t-shirt. That's absolutely one of the best on the album in vain. I could hear the elements of Don't Kill My Vibe. It's next. It's gotta be her. I'm gonna gag. I love this song. If it is her, I think it is. Let's just get straight into it. But In Vain is absolutely stunning, stunning, stunning! Don't kill my vibe. Let's go. Yes! Oh! I love this song and I love it even more knowing it's her and everything we've heard. You like the control. No! <laughs> like I'm a child. I can just hear my friend singing it too. It's actually so sad. I try to play it nice, but oh! <laughs> oh, it's so good. My like best song after the one before. It's so sad. Again, how is that a three minute song? Oh my God, just dying over how good it is. It fits so well, the progression of this album, the journey, the lyrical content, the cohesivity of it all just is perfect. I didn't think we would get to this type of sound from her until, you know, a couple of songs ago. The diversity, the easiness, the relatability, it's just so perfect. I'm pretty sure my friend's got the cover of this on her YouTube, so I'm gonna link it down below because it just makes me think of her the whole time I was listening to that and hearing her voice in my head. Casey Girl, such a good song. I can't, I'm pretty sure she told me about the album years ago. I never got into it. I don't care. I'm glad I'm doing it now and reacting with it and experiencing it with you guys. And yeah, wrapping up how I knew the song into the album. I'm lost for words. Stunnerama, Bangaranga. This chickadee is so good. I'm so keen for her new album next week. I'm just, I, yeah, I love how things just end up aligning for me, either like an anniversary of an album or like now she's got something coming out. I'm keen to hear it after hearing this. The next song is called Business Drivers. Let's go. <laughs> number I guess probably is my least favorite so far I mean song number 10 I don't really care if there's a little bit of a lull again super easy to listen to just I guess just lyrical content again I get it but just didn't really super relate to it but nice easy little jam Lola's business dinners not <laughs> business drivers. Although it's literally the same thing technically with what I meant is in someone trying to make her do stuff she doesn't want to do. Yeah, easy little tidbit. I think coming after Don't Kill My Vibe was going to be a very big feat. It didn't do it, unfortunately. However, I don't care. It's still a cute little song. Next one is called Nevermind. Let's go. I don't want to lose a friend. Oh. Oh, it's just like a selfish friend. I don't Make sure she's alright. Nah, let him go. See you later. That like breakdown that doesn't come. Sad, like I get my like, lyrical content so sad. Oh, I ain't done. Lyrical content again, the relatability. We're all been there when, like, you're not with someone, but you're with them, but you're not, and then they move on. You're like, I still miss you, but you never mind. I like that cool voices again, production. Not as maybe elaborate as some of the previous songs, but still, again, easy to listen to. Easy, take a shot every time I've said that. But the last song, it's called Dynamite. Let's wrap this epic album up. Are we gonna get an explosion of dynamite? Let's go. Maybe she's gonna scream, which I'm keen for. Awesome. <laughs> Stunning little piano. Don't know where I am with you. Oh, don't. I can't.
dynamite to blow up a mountain. I like the mountain. Your head is blue. The opposites again. <laughs> piano stop i think it wraps it up perfectly because the whole album it's got so many pop elements where you kind of know it's going to do it but then so many times in the album it does things that are so unexpected a song like dynamite especially after i guess the hype and production we've been going i really thought it was just going to be this psychotic little song and it wasn't it was the total opposite stunning adele-esque vibes beautiful lyrics throughout the entire album the cohesivity of the storyline the relatability of the lyrics the beautiful production the unpredicted production the way her voice and the production meshed like i said it's knife through butter so smooth so easy this is an album you could just listen to and just have there really listen or just have it there to comfort you and just yeah it's absolutely stunning god oh my god oh my god all the way through the only one business dinners was the only one i was like eh, not as good as the others for me but everything else absolutely perfection so incredible i know everything about this girl where's she from like what are all this is <laughs> let me know your favorite song down below give me the song meanings i guess yeah what her vision was for this album and things like that because i'm just so impressed i'm so keen for her new album next week like honestly i'm getting on that the minute it drops i need to hear what she's doing now this is a couple years old so impressed did not expect it pop perfection beautiful love it so good what did you guys think let me know down below all on cutters on patreon hit me up on instagram like and subscribe if you want to see more of me hope you're gonna go everyone i'm gonna have a good day, everyone. Ben is gonna go